So a quick update on this Commodore 64 that I fixed the PLA in. I bought myself a Nano Swinsid because the only thing that's missing from this right now is a sound chip. So I'm gonna pop this in now and give it a go. I've never tried one of these before, so we'll get to see exactly how good it is. I think I have to pop this jumper off from what I read. So I don't need that jumper because this is the old style of SID chip. Oh, that is popping out of the socket. It's weird, it's going in and then just popping out. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, makes a little ping when it comes on. It's got a little LED underneath. You can't see it here, but there's a little tiny LED under there. Don't know why they put that on, but they did. So I didn't know that, it makes a ping when it comes on. And that's just to show you that it's working. Right, so let's just boot up a game and see how good this thing actually is. Definitely not quite the same as the original chip, but it's actually pretty good. I'm quite impressed. So not as good as the original sound chip, definitely. Certainly runs a lot cooler though, but it's definitely a very good sound considering that this is being emulated. I mean, this is uh, perfectly usable, quite like it. But it, yeah, there's, there's minor differences in the sound. It probably does sound a bit better with the original. But a very good replacement, I think. It's quite impressive that these kind of things exist because I think there's gonna come a time where these SID chips just don't exist anymore. and and this will be the only way to get the sound. But I think certainly with these sound effects, it certainly sounds identical as far as I can tell. The music sounded a little bit different, whoops. So this is like the crack throw screen on XR. This again, just sounds a little bit different. It's, it's, everything's clearer and sharper, which I think is not original, but you know. Sounds very good though. Yeah, that's very good. dodgy sampling the way the 64 did its sampling, that's working. Yeah, I like it. I think that's really good. That is a really good chip. Yep, not the same, but good enough. So I could recommend these. They're, they're a lot cheaper than a SID and they're a lot more available. That's it, that's the Nano Swinsid, and I think that's really, really good. This music sounds excellent. So, yeah, I can't really fault it for what it is. It's a brilliant replacement for the SID. I think it's really impressive. And this music sounds great with it.